Ring the bell, school's back in, sucker, as we take a look at the ABCs of death. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Come inside today, the final cut, as we take a look at the ABCs of Death. Yes, put out by Magnet Releasing. Now, check out the concept for this uh, anthology of uh, short films. They basically went to 26 different directors from around the world, and they pegged them and gave them a letter, and then the director was going to come up with a word that begins with that letter, and then they had to create a short film that involved death that related to that word that began with that letter. It is a cool concept, and what you get is this potpourri of independent cinema that is just a classic example of the cinema renaissance happening in the independent film scene. Uh, you get a variety. Now, not all of them are really super strong, but each one of them is creative, a little bit different, and definitely has its own style. Uh, you get some that are very metaphorical, like the one that many of you filmmakers out there will relate to for the letter R. I'm not going to give you the words, uh, though you could probably look on online. Don't, because kind of the fun of watching this film is guessing what word belongs to the skit, okay? So I'm going to throw that in there. But for the letter R, many filmmakers out there will probably relate very well to the metaphor of this uh, short film that they did for the letter R. Loved that one. Uh, there's a very humorous one they did for the letter Q. It was kind of meta, and I just really loved that one. And the dialogue going on between the characters there. Uh, you get one in here uh, where it's a POV of a vampire being hunted, which you don't, you haven't really seen it. I mean, literally, he's on the chase, you see him, and it's a little shaky cam, but it's really interesting to see uh, from the perspective of the vampire. Never did see that one coming. Loved every minute of it. Now, of course, they were given a lot of creative freedom. So some of these uh, are your kind of just stay within the realm and some of these blow away limits and no visual uh, cue is taboo, okay? No subject is taboo. They they go places that Shollywood would never dare to go. And, and there's a reason is to bring, you know, forth either the subject that they're trying to talk about or some of them are thought provoking. Well, some of them are, are very humorous. There's an animated one with a girl versus a turd. Uh, 2D hand draw one. There's another one that's a stop motion animation one also dealing with the bathroom that I really thought was creative. Uh, one of my more favorite ones is the one where uh, it's set kind of in World War II, you think, and uh, um, the dogfighter guy, he's actually a dog person and he's at a burlesque show looking at a foxy lady who's an actual fox. I mean, I loved that. The makeup and the effects in that one were fantastic. And what you get in here too is a variety of different production looks. Uh, not all of them have wild makeup or supreme gore or TNA. Others are very subtle. Some of them uh, involve just a bird talking and tells a whole story. Um, you know, you've got a geek versus a spider that's in his apartment. Loved that one. There, There's so many things. Oh, and, and there's odes. You can tell little hints and send-ups to other films. There's one that's a sci-fi themed one that's actually rather deep uh, in its subject and yet humorous and sci-fi action-y and very much a send-up to Robocop. Uh, another one that definitely has Dr. Strangelove reference into it and is about as just as wild. Um, you know, there's just so many different varieties. This is like your own home film festival. It's like your personal film festival of independent film. Uh, not all of them are horror, but all of them involve death. Some gruesome, some not so much. If you ever want to get introduced to what independent cinema films have to offer at these festivals you hear about, the ABCs of Death is the first lesson that you should learn in your film, independent film viewing. For those of you who are familiar with independent films, you're going to find ones in here that you really love, that you thought were just 
okay, but I doubt you're going to find any of them in there that were really sucked, okay? Uh, they were very creative, each one of them, and let me tell you, I'm definitely getting this when it comes out on Blu-ray. Right now it's on video on demand. It is going to be on limited release. Check out the ABCs of death, folks. You will not be disappointed, and it will keep you entertained, shocked, thought, laughing, all kinds of emotions up until the letter Z or Z for our Canadian viewers out there. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.